Make it snow, make it snow, make it snow. <laughs> Joe's gonna kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Although we're here to talk about Christmas, we're not necessarily here to talk about our Christmas dinners. And we're here with our first annual gift guide. Yeah. So although this is a gift guide, we're not going to necessarily go into the most obvious things, because most airsofters will probably want a nice shiny replica or a big plate carrier. Or a helmet or something, yeah. yeah. We're going to do the kind of less obvious, more utilitarian stuff. Maybe with a couple of shiny things thrown in there for good measure. So these things really are for Auntie Nora to get you. She might not want to go into one of the leading retailers in the land and buy you an M16, but she might be quite happy to buy you something else. She also might not want a replica rubber LARP safe knife on her Amazon shopping list either. You know. yeah. <laughs> so we'll kind of go from cheapest to most expensive, depending on how much they love you. Because that's how Christmas works. That's how Christmas works. <laughs> Tom, we always say that every airsofter needs one of these. A shamag, shamag, shimi. I've heard it called many things, yeah. and we've all seen them, but if you don't have one, you really should. These are available on Amazon, eBay. Markets. Markets all over the place. Probably go for a more tactically coloured one, so you don't have yeah. a bright red and white thing around your neck. Yeah. As we talked about in many previous videos, super useful utilitarian thing. For as little as a few pounds, some, some of the more posh kind of 511 ones yeah. you can spend a bit more. But a towel, a face veil, a hat, a scarf, a sling. They look cool, they're warm, they're cheap. So one thing I don't always like buying is the sort of like things you don't normally see in our stuff, but they're quite handy. And because I'm always going from being quite chunky to quite thin, depending on what someone's doing, I need a belt. So got Shani to buy me one of these, which is a 511 TDU belt. I've now got three of them. Have you? Yep. Uh, and they go from, I think I've paid no more than £10 for each of them off eBay and things like that. And I've only got three because this is a 34 inch waist one and I couldn't quite fit it. Ah, have you got one too? This is a <laughs> Helicon urban tactical belt, but very similar. So yep. sort of webbing with a plastic buckle. Yep. And the other advantage of these is if you actually travel anywhere, you can go through metal detectors at airports with these. You haven't got to take your belt off and have your trousers That's also there. really good as a record of how much weight you've lost. like it. So yeah, quite a cheap, useful thing. Get a nice tactical trouser belt from the people who love you. But they don't love you very much if they've only bought you a belt. The thing is, Tom, I always think that as you get to being an adult, you can't ask for Lego anymore at Christmas. Well, you can, but uh, most people don't. And what your mum and dad and your auntie get you usually is socks and gloves and hats. And most of the time, that's quite a boring thing. But if you're an airsofter, gloves aren't always that boring. So a pair of mechanics fast fits, 15? 15, 15 quid, 20 pound at expensive stores, but never more than 20. Um, they make millions upon millions of these, hence why they're so cheap. These I've had these for a long time, as you can probably see. I can chop wood in, in them yeah. and stuff. Very useful, very utilitarian. Use them all the time. Really good brand. And yeah, they're the fast fit, but you can get padded ones, fingerless ones, all sorts, million different colors, million different styles, pretty much. But again, not just mechanics gloves, you can get a good set of airsofting gloves that let you feel the switches of your gun, keep your hands warm, protect you. Less than 20 quid, anything between five and 20 pound, I'd say. And no one's gonna upset yeah. buying your gloves, are they? Yeah. And around the same price point, Gadge is a really good set of merino hiking socks. Yeah. So I tend to use Bridgedale's. I'm not going to show mine because mine are getting on a bit now. A thousand mile socks, that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. I really like the Bridgedale Trekkers. Yeah. Um, I will show you a picture. Uh, they're, they're brilliant. Yeah. They're almost my everyday sock anyway. I've got like four pairs of those. And again, for the same price point, and I've mentioned this before, I really like Gore-Tex socks because if you're playing on a boggy wet day in sort of like spring or whatever, it's all thawing out. It's nothing worse than having wet, swampy feet. So Gore-Tex socks, 10, 15 pounds, yep. lifesavers. Again, in that kind of price bracket gadge, yeah. BBs. I, amazingly good brand there, Tom, I have to say. Uh, again, I have to be really honest here. I work for ASG. Some of these products will be ASG ones. It's not an advert. It's just happened to happen to hand. We often spend a lot of time on the channel talking about one of the best upgrades for your airsoft replica is the ammunition that you feed it. And good quality BBs make an enormous difference. 
to the effective range and accuracy that you're shooting. I really like these ASG open blasters amongst some others. I think it's also a good opportunity to maybe try some stuff you don't want to normally. If you go for a normally cheaper brand, you can maybe ask for a couple of bottles of a more expensive high quality brand or, or a heavier weight BB that you might necessarily not want to buy yourself as a present and an experiment and see how you get on with them. I mean, it's not always just range and accuracy, Tom. Also, I find that a good BB will feed in a mid cap mag much better. So a lot of the time people go, oh, my mag, my mag isn't feeding, my gun isn't firing. It's because cheaper BBs quite often lock up in that feed tube. So, quality BBs, a really great present, and maybe something you wouldn't want to buy yourself for a normal day skirmish, but you can get someone else to buy for you. Yeah. Going along with that, get some. you can always get some gas as well. Yeah, you always need it. These are the sort of things that, again, I, I've been playing airsoft for 20 years, and I absolutely begrudge buying BBs and gas all the time. It just feels like it's not what I want to spend my money on. I need it to play the game, it's absolutely essential, but I'd much rather spend that money on a tactical accessory, on a new smock, on a new pouch, etc. So it always feels like, it's like putting petrol in your car. You know, you have to do it, but... You don't want to. Yeah. So may as well get someone else to buy it for you. Yep. Yeah. How much does Ultra Air Player's Choice Airsoft Power Gas ActionSportGames.com get? Uh, don't ask me, I work in social just, media. <laughs> Nine pounds, Tom. Nine. Less than a tenner. Less than a tenner. You'd probably yeah. get a couple of cans then, couldn't you, from yeah. Aura? Yeah, if she really loved you. Yeah, if she really loved you. you might, if she really loved you, she'd get you an entire box. In fact, buy box loads of this stuff. It comes in sixes, <laughs> doesn't it? It does come, yeah, in sixes. Yeah, yeah. so Aunt Anora yeah. can get you a box of six, and that'd be great. Get you set up for the year. Yeah. And one thing that really grates me, Tom, and a lot of people don't spend money on this, is that we're all using LiPo and Life-type batteries now, which are a bit more sensitive. And you see people with disastrous stories of like fires in their gun, fires in their chargers, because they're using the charger that came with their gun. Which, you yeah. know, really, I would throw that in the bin if I got a new gun. Death chargers. Death chargers, yeah. Uh, if you're using sensitive batteries, especially LiPos, get a decent balanced charger. So again, I work for ASG, this is one of our older models. Full so disclosure. Yeah, yeah, full disclosure. but. Oh, that's good. One of the best things I ever bought. This will charge absolutely anything you're ever going to use with all different fittings for it. It's got a balance regulator on it. Loads of different modes, easy to program. The many different companies make similar models to this, so I'm not saying you have to get an ASG one, but you will not regret getting a decent charger for the peace of mind alone, knowing that you can leave it on yeah. while you're watching a movie and it's in the other room and it isn't going to burn your house down. So there are, there are some quite popular brands of kind of smart balance chargers. I'll probably avoid getting on eBay. There are quite a lot of clones of them. Uh, and so I'd go for, I would go to a reputable shop and buy them because then you know you're getting a warranty and you know they should really have come from a reputable source. And, and check the reviews because, you know, one store might have a deal with one company and they want you to buy that one. Buy the one you want from good reviews. This is nice that you get all the leads with it's it. It's brilliant, isn't it? Absolutely fantastic. Because, yeah, I keep making leads. For and I'm a total Luddite. I'm not a technical airsofter. I find this quite easy to program and work out exactly what charge I need for different batteries. So And the charger is not sexy, but it's a lot sexier uh, exactly. after, your house, after your house is burnt down and you're not yeah. very happy. Or your £300 riff is a smouldering pile of yeah. plastic and metal because you put the wrong charger burn on. Burn your hole in the kitchen yeah. and your mum's going to kill you. So, yeah, good quality charger. And Auntie Nora will not mind buying that. <laughs> So something I never used to use, and now I think is... I need to get one of those, I really do. <laughs> the best thing I ever bought in Airsoft is, an, this is an Odin Sidewinder speed loader. Absolutely brilliant. So your magazine goes in this slot here, and then we have a tactical maraca. I have a windy handle, the magazine goes in. These are, these are sized for AR magazines. Stand you can get adapters, can't you? You can, get adapters, yeah. you can get an AK mid cap in there. It won't lock in, but you can kind of hold it down and do it. Okay. I can get my Marui AR mags in there. Again, they don't lock in, but you can hold yeah. them down and do it. They're sized for a double standard pouch. So you can yeah. fill it up and then stick it in the pouch and take it out with you oh, if you want yeah, to as well. So that's really handy. Absolutely brilliant. There are knockoffs of these. Um, don't buy them. I think this is one of the single best purchases I've ever made. I know you've been raving about it for a while. I keep meaning to buy one. And maybe this is the Christmas when I ask my auntie Sue for one. Now, my other bugbear, Tom, is that people who will spend three or four hundred pounds on a good riff and put it on a five pound sling. I've seen a lot of broken guns yeah. in my time. And I've had guns fall off a cheap sling. So 
for about 30 to 40 pounds and sometimes more for different accessories on them Varro Concepts do slingsters which are absolutely fantastic I have one on my um, L119A1 yep. absolutely love it I used to swear by Haley switch slings, which are a lot more expensive, and actually I find this is a much. I really better like sling. my Haley, but it terminates in QDs. Yeah. Um, so you can put QD loops. These are these are sold. Part of the reason they're cheap is they come cheaper. They're not cheap cheap, but they're cheaper is they don't come with the fittings. Yeah. And you have to add those yourselves. Um, so something like the Haley's great, but it comes with QDs, QD sockets, um, QD mounts. So you're kind of limited in what you can use it for. Um, I think. Actually, this is probably almost the perfect middle ground. Yeah. It's comfy, it's rugged, and you can again, you can adapt it to what you need. Yeah. So it's a adjustable two-point, so you can lengthen and tighten it as you go. You've got a nice comfy shoulder pad. You can move the shoulder pad up and down and around. And as you say, you can you can change the end fittings depending yeah. on what you want. So the other thing that I actually bit the bullet and got a decent set of is a decent screwdriver. Yeah. And it doesn't have to be expensive, but Jimmy, the amount of times where you need something that's got different screw heads, different Allen key heads, different star bolts, yeah, that etc. One of those in your gun bag, brilliant, right? So the amount of times when you want to take that scope off and you haven't brought the right Allen key or you haven't brought the right wrench or something, things like that. It's not sexy, it's not cool, but it's also not expensive. You can go from 15 quid for an all right one to 150 quid for a Leatherman with adjustable yeah. settings of it, etc. Whatever you're comfortable with. But it's again, it's one of those things that it's not as cool as buying a tactical kit, but it's dead useful when you play airsoft and you're adjusting your gun on sight. Yeah, so Leatherman with a, with a bit set. Or a Leatherman clone, you know. Yeah, it's quite expensive. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this one is just from the middle at Lidl. Yeah. The bits aren't the best quality, but they're fine for most airsoft for uses. For tightening up a scope. Yeah, as long as you're right careful, there. make sure the bit you've chosen actually fits the screw head really yeah. well, so you're not going to round it off. These are absolutely fine. And my Leatherman Wave Plus bits is about 10 times the price of this. Yeah, but so. it's obviously smaller and quite handy. Yeah. So something, again, a lot of people don't seem to want to spend any money on in Airsoft is optics. I always find it a bit odd. In the real steel world, people really don't sniff at having an optic. Which, which costs critical, isn't it? Well, it also costs, in many cases, the glass on top of the rifle costs more than the rifle does. Yeah. Particularly when you get into LPVOs. Or something like this, Vortex Crossfire, which is about 100 150 quid. Now, optically, they're not brilliant. There are, for the same price, you can get better optically quality uh, red dots. However, I still like the Vortex for the VIP warranty. Oh yeah, literally. Like I broke one of mine, got one shot out in the game, and had it back within four days. Yeah, Brand similar, similar here. I had one shot out in a CQB game, and I got one, yeah. got one back as well. So you can get a better optic for the money. 150 quid to a lot of people does seem quite expensive. They also hold zero under recoil. So if you, and I've had Airsoft clone optics lose zero even with a normal AEG, yeah. and these won't. Certainly if you use a gas blowback or even a Marui, it's worth having, you know, a primary arms or a sight mark or I, a Vortex. Yeah, indeed. I mean, I put um, I put a very cheap clone EOTech on, a, um, on my A1, and that's a, a recoil. And it literally switched off between shots. And also changed from the red to green, didn't it? Yeah, it changed the colour. Yeah, it was just crazy. And, like, and that was like a £30 clone, I think, I got when I started playing Airsoft. And you get people who will happily buy five or six different optics at £30 each, but then tell you that it's crazy to buy one decent one for £120. We tend to find they don't actually aim. And in which case, you can, if you're not active, it's just a cosmetic dress-up part, yeah. and you're not actually aiming through it. Fair, fair enough. Play. 100 150 quid for a kind of second-tier... Optic, so it's not an aim point, it's not an EOTech, but really, really good. And the VIP warranty on these is fantastic. amazing. And also, an added bonus is if you are one of those players who wants to experiment with night vision, etc., a Vortex quality optic, you're going to be able to see that through your night vision goggles. It's not going to distort or be too bright and, and cause glare on your lenses. Yeah. So this isn't, this isn't, this Crossfire isn't marketed as night vision capable. But they uh, are. I've used one. They are really. On, certainly yeah. on one or two, they're yeah. pretty much dim enough in all but the very, very darkest situations that you can quite happily see it through a night vision scope. Um, really good. Uh, so that's for the, someone really does actually love you properly and they want to buy you a proper mm -hmm. present. So thanks for watching our Christmas gift guide. What sort of Christmas gifts are you looking forward to getting? Let us know in the comments below. If you want to help support the channel, stay as independent as possible. You can help us with Patreon, link down in the description. If you want to buy one of our fantastic t-shirts, there's a link down in the description as well. Most importantly, Stay safe, and we'll see you soon.
So thanks for watching this Christmas. Christmas. That's a spoiler. Spoiler. That's, That's an a spoiler outtake, as well. That's an outtake. I can't even stare. See, I've been, we've been talking for two hours. I'm starting yeah. to lose it. So thanks for watching this Christmas. Christmas. Say it again. <laughs> you want me to do it?